Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Cafe Direct. This is their Mayan Gold Mexican Ground Coffee and I found this one on offer in Tesco for the club card price of £3 which is unusual because I've not seen it in there before and they don't normally put their new coffees on offer um, but this one as soon as it was on the shelves was on offer for £3 so let's take a look at the pack Cafe Direct they are also famous for doing the Machu Picchu coffee which I really like um, so this will be interesting to see how it compares to that one so it's a number 5 smooth and dark with with a caramel creaminess it's for filter and cafetier 100% organic arabica ground coffee soil association organic and it's a fair trade coffee on the back of the pack it says ridiculously good coffee ridiculously good business and it says exceptional coffee starts with the farmers who grow the beans which is why we've made it our mission to improve the livelihoods of smallholder growers when they thrive we produce the best coffee this year we celebrate 30 years of our pioneering partnership with farmers and in that time we've given back 30 million to our growers so they benefit from our belief in fairness and cooperation and you make a difference to their lives while enjoying great tasting coffee so there is the um, link to Cafe Direct there and there we go it says why not try our speciality subscription range bringing you once in a lifetime coffee adventures our speciality grade coffee is skillfully roasted in small batches then delivered directly to you and they have a code there to get 20% off your first order so I'll probably put that link in the description if anyone's interested in taking a look at um, Cafe Direct's website so a little bit on the top there the description it says experience I've just about almost cut the top off it says experience our full bodied coffee grown in high altitudes above Mexico's colourful and vibrant southern states of Chiapas and Oaxaca, I think that is. And there we go, brewing method is for cafetiers, storage instructions. On the other side, it's just um, packed in protective atmosphere, produce of Mexico, 227 gram bag. More contact info there for Cafe Direct. And the best before date has got just under a year on it. And that is August 2022. So, that is it for the pack. Let's take a quick look at the ground coffee. Quite darkish and sort of red in appearance, this one. And the aroma is very rich. It's sweet and caramelly, even a slight vanilla hint too. It's an interesting aroma, so hopefully it will transfer to the taste. That said, it's nothing too amazing and is your sort of typical supermarket standard, I would say. It's a bit like a sort of Cadbury's caramel um, chocolate bar, I would say overall, in aroma. So, taste-wise, it's quite a tangy coffee, it's very caramelly, there's a slight floral hint and it's got that sort of creamy, buttery mouthfeel, that hint of um, vanilla too. It's slightly earthy and I think this could easily be mistaken for the Kenyan coffee, or I sort of could uh, mistake it. And as mentioned, it's got a creamy taste and mouthfeel that is edging towards full bodied, but it's got a sort of acidic kick to it that hits you midway through and that sort of clears it to a more sort of juicy watery finish there's no bitterness maybe a slight hint but there's a quite a bit of acidity with this one and I found it to get that stale acidity the longer the pack was open in taste and aroma and after about three or four days the aroma became a little bit unpleasant with this one uh, the taste was affected a little less than the aroma 
and it's a decent distinct coffee and a good addition to their range alongside the Machu Picchu and it does remind me of the Sainsbury's Bantam um, coffee that I reviewed a while ago that said it's not entirely to my taste but I can appreciate it's something a little bit different and it gets a score of 3.25 out of 5 and worth a try if you see it in Tesco on offer for £3 like I did let's face it coffee is the only thing that Tesco has plenty of at the moment the shelves are incredibly empty in the supermarkets at the moment so yeah um, so yeah I quite enjoyed this one although I wasn't too impressed overall so that was my quick review I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other coffees from Cafe Direct let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye for now